uh, 635. <laughs> Our top story for you now, Montana U.S. Senate race is the top contest on the ballot this year. And this week, MTN's Mike Dennison has been profiling the candidates competing for that office. Today, he tells us about the libertarian candidate, Rick Breckenridge. Rick Breckenridge isn't running a big budget campaign for the U.S. Senate and says he spends a lot of time just explaining what libertarians stand for. The libertarian is, you know, the root word is liberty. And the uh, encroaching of governments from all sides, whether it's federal, state, municipality, they keep encroaching more and more and more and taking it away. And sometimes you've got to stand up and, and say, hey, you know, this has gone too far. The 59-year-old Breckenridge is a land surveyor from Proctor, a small town near the west shore of Flathead Lake. He grew up in southern Oregon, but has lived in Montana for most of the past 30 years. He's done survey and property mapping work for government agencies and operated his own business. He's also a U.S. Army veteran. Breckenridge ran for the U.S. House in Montana in 2014 and got 3% of the vote. In this race, he's on the ballot along with Democratic incumbent Senator John Tester and Republican challenger Matt Rosendale. Breckenridge says voters who truly want to tackle the nearly $22 trillion federal debt and pare down unnecessary government should look to his party. Republicans and Democrats have bequeathed to us a 22 trillion reasons to vote libertarian. Both Democrats and Republicans have proven to us that they can't do it, that we got to get the reins into somebody who can. Libertarians rarely come close to winning an electoral race in Montana, but they can be a factor in a close contest. And this particular race should be a tight one on Election Day. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Uh, also, we hinted at it earlier, a live debate among the Montana's U.S. Senate candidates had been scheduled for this Saturday on the MTN stations. That uh, Now that the uh, Senate votes on Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh is set for that day, the debate sponsored by MTN and Yellowstone Public Radio has been postponed.